So again, we got a rather thin book, a picture book, in fact, that is quite famous. Hello, full plot posters. It is Iron Plot Poster, and today I got this book. We are Waterbird. This is got the Caldecon battle. And it's written by Carol Lindstrom and illustrated by Michaela. I don't think I, I said those names right, but you know, bear with me. I'm I'm, I'm a klutz when it comes to pronouncing things. So. Let's get right into it. So, got the Caldecon medal, and basically, the message is pretty straightforward. Protect water. Because, you see, in America, there's actually an issue currently about the Dakota Access Pipeline. It sort of goes through the Rock Sioux Tribes Missouri River, and a lot of oil leaks happen all the time. And oil, when it goes in the water, if it gets contaminated, then we're, we're sort of screwed because then everything gets destroyed. If water is destroyed, then the entire ecosystem completely collapses. And that's a really, really big problem. And that's just sort of put into perspective using this book with a little bit of added fantasy, not fantasy, but cultural aspects of, of the book, uh, of the tribe. So it's very interesting. And there's not really much to analyze for me, and I don't really want to. I'll I'll tell you both uh the both sides of the argument. Okay. So let's look through some of the pictures because that is really a major point. So we are water protectors. Look at these pictures. Look, gorgeous, beautiful pictures. Really like this. And basically, just the message is that there's actually some sort of prophecy about humans killing themselves by using technological advances apparently within the tribe so it sort of illustrates that and writes about that and talks about that in the form of the little girl talking and apparently culturally water was protected by the woman and the fire was protected by the man so that there's there's a little cultural hint thing there as well and yeah, so this is very, very nice. And this uh, this black snake is sort of represents that um, the technology and the plan. I'm like, look at it. You can see the pipe, like how it represents the pipe. And I think it's a very beautiful way to represent it. As just not uh, not having like a political perspective or an actual opinion on the issue. But I do have to say that the way they have represented the issue is very nicely done. So that's pretty much it and it, it's just the you know the typical save water message um and just talks about how we have to you know save water and we we can't allow these oil um leaks and we can't allow these oil pipes to go through water supplies and contaminate nature that's that should not be allowed um the argument of of the side that says that this pipeline should be done is not only does it um, is it is it good and is it profitable? There are people whose jobs are are like hooked upon this entire process. So basically, what they're saying is that if they're if they're using jobs and American jobs are being put on contrast, and if this pipeline was canceled, then people might. Might that those people who work in those places might get and might get might be in a financial crisis or something like that, and that's the other side of the argument. The other side of the argument is if the environment is completely destroyed, then jobs might not matter at all, and also the environment is really really important, and also it's a cultural thing, and also some ancient burial sites were disturbed, and so there's like a sort of problem there, I guess. But honestly, I'm not going to go too far into the politics and stuff. I have an opinion on this because it really is a big issue because that's a lot of jobs. If they're building an entire pipeline through like several states, that is a lot of jobs and a lot of people depending on the job. However, the Harvard environment is also equally or more so for some people important. So that is a big issue. And all in all, not thinking about the issue itself, the way that the issue is represented in that perspective through the eyes of a little girl, little um, a little uh, American girl who is who, who is a tribe girl, um, is very well done. As I have stated multiple times, I mean, there really isn't much to say about plot, even though I'm plot quester ironically. However, like I said, it's just has a really great message, 
And we don't really have to think about this as just specifically just this Dakota pipeline situation. This kind of thing happens everywhere. Water is important everywhere. Water is being contaminated everywhere. So we can think about it as a general big message. We need to save water because water is life. Without water, the ecosystem will collapse. And even if it takes years and decades or centuries, humanity will not be able to survive without water. And that is pretty much it. And I think this is really nicely represented the book. And as even though I'm a writer, not, you know, a painter, I'm terrible at drawing, in fact. Um, I'm told that the stuff that I draw with my hand looks like I drew them with my feet. However, I gotta say, I really respect how they drew this kind of stuff. Like, it's really beautiful and well done, and it's very, very symbolistic. And it comes well together with the issue, and I think it's an excellent way to educate children of a younger age of this of so this kind of issue about water. And I think it's good to be knowledgeable that about that, about these kind of things from a young age. And like always, your plot question and the plot question. Great book. I would definitely recommend um, young kids to read this and buy this. And if if you have like a little sister or a brother, maybe you could buy them this book. Um, yeah, so I think it's a good idea to read it. And even if you are an adult, like, every human being on the planet can appreciate art. Beautiful. Right, well, goodbye, and have a great day.